uh, hello friends today in this tutorial we will be looking at how to build a github uh, user search application using the github api so i will be using this api github api so if you search on google you will be redirected to this developer.github.com slash version 3 so it is completely free you can use this api so i will be directly be going to the endpoint which is api.github.com slash api.github.com so you will see that if you go to this endpoint it will show you all the endpoints of the api in this tutorial we will be using this endpoint which will be searching for a particular user so this is an endpoint user underscore url so if you go to this user you need to provide a user id so after the slash users i can provide any name here and now you will see that after providing this name Rohit you will see all the information regarding this you can just go to the avatar URL open this in new tab you will see that this is a avatar URL of the github user and you can also go to its uh, official page on github by just going to github.com slash Rohit and you will be seeing this repository page so here you can see the number of repositories, projects, followers and following. So we will be building this application in JavaScript. So first of all what you need to do, make a new folder inside this, give it a title, github search user using github API. So for this project we will also be using some bootstrap. So you search on Google that bootstrap CDN and the very first link which comes in just copy this link tag so this is the style sheet CDN for bootstrap so now after that we will be having in the container class of bootstrap so inside this we will have a simple heading we will be aligning this, aligning this heading in the center position so text align to center so inside this we can write here github search user app now if I need to open this right click open with live server so it will start this application on port 5500 and you see the result here let me just create some space from the top give two break tags like this now we have a simple form here so just after this heading we will have this form and we will give it an ID of my form after this one other option we will give is auto complete to off and inside this we will have a form group class of bootstrap and inside this we will have an input field of type text and here we will be giving an ID to it of search and the placeholder will be simply search username and this needs to be required and also we will be attaching a bootstrap class to it of form control like this and now if I refresh it you will see an input field is there here you can input input your username now after that we will have a simple button also so wrap this inside form group and we will have it this button we will attach these bootstrap classes bt and block so the label will be simply search users search user because we will be searching one user at a time so that is why search user so now you can see that our interface is ready now we just need to write our javascript code for that we will be creating a separate file script.js and now inside this what we can do we can include this file script source script.js now we will go to this file and first of all we will get the reference of the form like this document.get element and the id that we have given is my form so now we will attach the add event listener So when the form is submit, we will write this callback function which will hold the event object for us. 
So now first of all we will execute e dot prevent default. So it will prevent the auto submission of the form. Now we will get the search string that the user enters by first of all getting the reference of the element. So document dot get element by id and the, we have given this id to it of search. And now to extract the value it is very simple. Uh, let me just type here h. So to extract the value we will just write dot value. That's it. And now we can just alert this search here what the user has typed here. And now if I run the application, if I write row it here, any name, click on search user and now you will see that it will display it inside the alert box. So now we are successfully fetching this value. So what we need to do here is that we need to make a simple fetch call to the API URL. So we will use the fetch method and inside this we will pass the URL of the API. So let me just show you the this is the URL. So here we need to delete this static Rohit and here we need to pass the dynamic value search. So one thing we need to remove is the spaces. We can even type the full name like this. Let me show you the application. So let's suppose Rohit Singh. So you will see a space coming here with between the first name and the last name. So we need to remove the space. So in order to remove this, it is pretty simple. We will create another string which will be original name and inside this we will take the search string and we will use the split method. Split and then we will provide the string that we need to remove. In this case it is the space character and then we will use the join method and we will be replacing it we will be removing it by this join function. Now if I pass this original name like this and also if I alert this sorry we need to alert this original name so just to check if it is removing the space or not. So now if I type like this and now you will see that it will remove the space. So that exactly what I want. So as you know that this fetch returns a promise that we need to configure. So this will return the result and first of all we need to convert this result to JSON. This again returns a promise. So now the data will be returned to us. So this will be a callback function. So we can console log the data just to check if it is working or not. And right click go to inspect and uh, now if you go to console here and now if you search for any sort of username So let me just search for this. Click on search user. And now you will see that it will return a JSON response to it holding this avatar URL. Now we just need to print this avatar URL. And when we click on that URL, we will be redirected to the full URL of that user. So Inside our index.html, we can just after the form we can declare a div which will be holding the result for us. So now inside this, we can target that by a document.get element by id. And now we can manipulate the inner HTML property. And we can use the backtick symbol like this.
and we just need to create an image tag. So image source will be equal to inside double quotes. So this will be equal to data dot avatar URL underscore URL. So close the image tag and now if you see here if I reload the application if I search for the same username click on search user so you will see that that image will be displayed here of the user and I just need to bind a click event so when we click the image we need to so I, I can just have this uh, herf I can bind this inside the anchor tag so a href and what we need to do here is that we need to go to https www.github so just wait github dot com slash the username so here we can just concatenate the username which was original name and close the double quotes and we can just bind this after the image tag ends we need to also close the anchor tag and one other thing we need to add this attribute which is target is equal to blank so this helps us when we click that image this will open this inside new window so this attribute is very much necessary so now if I reload the application if you search for the username click on search user and now you will see that the image is clickable so if you click that image this will open the repository page on a new window so here you can just look at the profile of the user so now I just need to make one change so when we make a new request we need to first of all remove this alert here first of all we need to remove this uh, result div so we can just empty out the contents which are there dot inner html so this will be equal to nothing that's it And now you can repeat this process you can search for any username Suraj so you can see that now if I need to change the name like this now you can see that So in this way you can just create a github search for a single user kind of application using the github API in JavaScript. So thanks so much for watching this video. Please like the video and subscribe the channel.